Hey everybody, Nick here from The Bearded Housewife. I wanted to make you a quick video showing how to use the operations menu within Cricut Design Space. Now I've had a lot of people ask me how to change basic cut layers into score lines or um, draw lines in order for the Cricut to draw things out for you. And I thought that I would make this quick little video to show you how to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've gone ahead and uploaded my pumpkin side edge card. Uh, this is available in my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. If you would like to find out more about these fall side edge cards, I will link a card up above. So once you've uploaded the design into Design Space, and if you need help with uploading SVGs into Design Space, there's another card right up here uh, showing you how to do so. Um, I have versions for the uh, desktop version as well as the mobile version. But once you upload your design, you're going to head up to Ungroup. You're going to want to scroll down to find the envelope. The envelope is usually the very back layer. I always put the envelope on the very back. Uh, so you're going to want to highlight the top layer within the group. This is the envelope group right here. This is the actual cut layer and this is the score line. We're going to change this up in operation. Click on the little arrow. We're going to scroll down to score. Click score, then highlight that group. So we're highlighting both the score line and the cut layer. And then you're going to click attach. Move this out of the way. Now scroll down and you're going to want to look for the card base. Usually in my files, that is the white layer. Again, th so this group right here is the card base. This is the cut layer. This is the score line. It doesn't matter what file you use of mine. All of the score lines are going to be the top layer within the group. So you're going to highlight that score line. Come over to operation. Go down to score. Then highlight the group. So you're highlighting both the score line and the cut layer and then move down to attach. You can move that out of the way. Now to change something to a draw layer or a pen layer, um, this little banner right here is drawn on with the Cricut. So I want to change that from a basic cut to a pen layer. So the same concept applies. The top layer is always the one that we want to change. So click on that layer that has the text in it. Come over to operation. Move down to pen. And then here, this little box, you can change whatever color you prefer. Let's just change it here for example purposes. Click on moccasin. You see how it's changed the, the color down here. Head over to that group and highlight that group highlighting both the pen layer and the cut layer and move down to attach. That's really all that needs to be involved. The operation uh, panel does have, let me see if I can I'll go to a layer that I haven't attached together. You would use the operation panel for your wavy blade, your perforation blade, your uh, foil transfer tools, um, the debossing tool and the engrave. You can also change images to print and cut within the operation uh, menu. So this menu is used quite a bit for all your various project needs. So I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, if it is, make sure that you hit like and subscribe to my channel so you know every time that I come out with a new video. Head on over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. I have lots of card tutorials as well as cards in my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. And I hope everybody has a good day. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.